what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to make a burning look on uh, fucking just in paint.net. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be needing the colors red and yellow. You want to make it on a new layer. If you're doing this on like a texture, I'm meaning. Pretty much always do a new layer. There's no reason not to. You can just, uh, you can just merge it down with this button. So, here we go. So, first off, we're going to use the red. This is going to be your actual like burn mark. So, we're just going to kind of... Do something like this. It really doesn't matter what you make it because it's about to get destroyed. Next is the super easy part. You just kind of outline it with yellow. Now, this is where it gets friggin', you know, a little more complicated. You want to go over here, go to motion blur, and uh, kind of have it like this. Next, you're going to go over to uh, blur again. This time, use radial blur. Now, this is going to be a little more finicky, but I like to use it. You don't have to. I just like using it. Because personally, I think it adds a little more to it than motion blur. Uh, that's just me. So we're going to kind of... Alright. Set the quality to max. Alright, we're almost done. Next thing, you want to go over to uh, sepia. That's going to make it like this. Now, I know it doesn't look like a burn mark. Double click on the layer you're on. Press on mode. You know, so this whole box comes up. Don't bother looking for it. Just press C once and it's up. And there you go. Pretty much, you just got you just made a burn mark. Now that doesn't look exactly the greatest, but you can kind of mess around with a couple of other things, which I'm going to do. Hue slash saturation is always a great thing to do. Lowering or raising this can uh, change it up a bit. You can make it a little more reddish looking. You can darken it. You can brighten it. You can do a lot of things in here. So if you need to make some little more adjustments, you can do that. You can also change some colors if you want. But uh, that's pretty much the best way you can do it. Double click on the layer again if you want to, and uh, you can lower the opacity, make it kind of not look you know, too much like a thing, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much it right there. 